We just put small weenies on the what basketball basketball boys' car right, no, because they have no glizzy. <laughs> Man can never do that shit. Never. I mean, he gonna he could do it. He could do it. Maybe we should just start doing that shit. Just we're doing whatever the fuck they do. Whatever the fuck they do, we just do it and just do it enough where we even it out. It ain't no motherfucking big deal. Maybe we can just make a big ass shift ourselves and just break the fuck double standard. What up, YouTube? My name is your boy, Stevie Knight. Night talk. Um, I think this video is going to be interesting. I'm already knowing what to expect, but uh, definitely relevant topics as far as type of shit I try to focus on here up in this channel. Yeah, this this video comes from Baked Yam. I don't know, but it says double standards in society that men face. And so about to check it out, man. Um, yeah, I let the video do the talking for me. Let's dive into it. What world does no mean yes? No means no. No means no, absolutely. Carry on. Can a man say no to sex? No. No? Not at all. No. Hell no. Fuck no. Shit no. You better not. We want to fuck. We're taking it. We don't care. Period. Wow. No. No? Just assume that you're gay or something. Wow. He can, but if I want it, then I'm going to take it. Period. You get it right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they and funny, people though. will still say that men are not mistreated, Bro. men are treated fairly in society, and there's no double standard. When this video literally shows that men don't even have the right to consent. Okay, makes sense. That just reflects society, though, because society treats men the same way. Johnny Depp, you know what I mean? Like, men can't be victims, so we gotta focus on changing that. But bruh, if men said that, do women have the right to say no? And a bunch of men was like, no, 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 man. The whole world flip upside down, bruh. Body shaming only exists when it comes to women. Because a man can't be fat as hell and get brand deals and make thousands upon millions of dollars. Or be told you deserve to be a model. It doesn't matter what size you are, you're beautiful. Just look at how they treated 50 Cent. <laughs> That's a fact. You talking about the halftime show when uh 50 was up there hanging upside down like a goddamn yam and shit, bro. And he got they lit his ass on fire, bro. Society lit his ass on fire. Social media lit his ass on fire. That would never happen to a woman. And if it did, anybody that says like that, bro, they be getting casted as misogynist, fat shaming, this all this other bullshit. Bro, that's man. Here are massive double standards about dating that no one likes to talk about. If a man cheats on his girl with anyone, he's branded as the worst human ever. But if a woman cheats, even if multiple times, it's called a discovery face. It's much more easily forgiven and we all laugh it off <laughs> a together. Discovery face. When a woman judges a man by his physical face. appearance, let's say it's his height. Nah, they, they just women are always the victims. You know what I mean? I mean, but you got you got you got you do have a lot of people out here that will call a woman out on some bullshit. She out here cheating on her fucking man and shit, but women typically are getting given more leeway because society typically points at the man as the problem in relationship, regardless, you know, what the fuck's taking place, man. They're always going to soften the blow for the woman compared to the man. When a woman judges a man by his physical appearance, let's say it's his height, everything is fine. But if you judge a girl by any metric, for example, asking about her weight, you become the enemy of all. If your girlfriend talks about a celebrity saying he's super attractive and she would have his babies, silence. But if the boyfriend says that the girl on TV is kind of cute, the man is persecuted. If a woman says she wants her man to- I see what he's saying. I see what he's saying, but he, he can find it specifically to a relationship. And if you're one of these men out here who are allowing your girl to talk about other men in that type of manner and you don't say nothing, that's a reflection on you and the dynamics you have in your relationship. So men need to be held accountable in situations like these as well. Like, don't be out here allowing the women to have a double standard. You can you can label like these societal double standards, but you don't have to allow these societal double standards to affect you specifically. So if you feel like what he said applies to you in your relationship, then you need to fix your relationship. But I get what he's saying. It says that the girl on TV is kind of cute. The man is persecuted. 
If a woman says she wants her man to be tall, muscular, handsome, high EQ, high IQ, wealthy, good with housework, good in bed, everything is fine. But if you even bring up and ask a girl what she brings to the table, everyone gets mad. Men definitely want to speak up, but I, I'd assume that a lot of men are scared to speak up because of the backlash. Because society sides with women in these situations. Men out here, majority of men out here, know that this is a bunch of bullshit. But we just we're in a we're in a spot right now where men don't have outlets to get this the way they feel or their observations out, you know, in a safe space to do so. Because men are worried about the ridicule or attack they're gonna get from these crazy ass <laughs> radical feminist types of of groups. Yeah, I mean, or even the, I mean, it, it's bigger than that. The job, yeah, the job, society. I mean, I get what he's saying, though. I get what he's saying. Tell me about the time when you realized that the bar is super low for men. I was at the grocery store with my younger son, and this woman walked up to me, and she was like, oh, today's a daddy day, is it? And I was like, every day is a daddy day. What are you talking about? And she says, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't. Your wife passed. I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to bring that up. And I'm like, no, my wife's alive and well. Why would you think that? She's like, well, you're with the boy. Where's the wife? And I'm like, she's at work. And she's like staring at me for a second. And then she says, so she works and does all the chores? That's some bullshit. <laughs> that is some bullshit, boy. There's no way a lot of women feel the same way this woman did. There's no way. And if there is, that's crazy. That's It's even worse than I thought it was. Where there must be a reason why this man is out with his child and the mom isn't there. I mean, of course there's a reason, but to go to go as far as saying it must be daddy day or some sh like some special day it has to be some special occasion for the man to be out with his child though that's crazy that where's the mom the mom's at work what you mean that would have pissed me off he, he a better man than me and then even after saying that after he after buddy gave her the reason why she wasn't there she was surprised when he told her that his wife was at work. It's like, oh my God, she works? Like the wife isn't supposed to work? Like what the f this, I gotta see who the hell this motherfucker is, dog, because she's living in La La Land. The majority of households require two incomes, you idiot. That would've pissed me off. That would've pissed me off. You just shitting on fathers. Like they ain't shit. They don't. They don't matter. Yo, what's Yo, up, bro? What's up, bro? I'm doing good. Hey, listen, you coming to the party with the boys at eight? Nah, like, my girl's a little uncomfortable with the fact that there's other girls going so Damn, bro. I'm not gonna go. Nah, listen, that's completely understandable. We'll do something else next yeah, time. Yeah, of course. Uh, Res respect, respect the relationship, the rela man. Hey, it's what we bro, do out get, here, bro. bro. Hey, Damn, girl, okay, how you bitch, doing? I see you. Hey, listen, you coming to the party at 8 p.m. with the girls? Nah, my boyfriend's a little uncomfortable with the fact that there's other boys wow. going, so uh, I'm not gonna go. It's the being controlling for me. Like, who makes him <laughs> think that he can tell a strong and independent... <laughs> it's the being it's the being controlling for me. Hey, buddy, he's dope. He dope. Because I had to be talking, too. That's funny. Uh, I'm not gonna go. It's the being controlling for me. Like, who makes him think that he can tell a strong and independent woman like you what to do with your life? Like, the clear misogyny and disrespect he has for women is blatant. If he can't handle a bad bitch, he should have just date one. And if he's insecure, he should just say that, bitch. You deserve so much better. <laughs> hey. But we can fix this, though. We can fix that. You know what I mean? Anything that exists within the confines of relationships, specifically, the man can fix that. It's up to you to determine who you're going to be with. You know what I mean? And if you got one of these women out here, especially with groups who hang with groups of girls like that, you shouldn't be associating yourself with any person like that in general. But as as far as uh, your girl, your significant other, your potential spouse, hell no. You're just setting yourself up problems down the road man like you got to make sure your girl got cool ass friends too and like this need to be discussed you know what i'm saying especially when she expects you to do something but then 
it's a problem when you expect her to do the same. I mean, that's just reciprocation. That's just like consideration and shit. You gotta make, make it make sense. Double standard aside, that's just relationship type shit, man. But you know, we have we have that within our control to uh, fix these type of situations. Just leave them type of alone. Double Talk standards between friends. men and women. Part three. Lots of women in my comments saying, so you want me to coddle that little boy like his mommy did? But didn't that same man ask your father for your hand in marriage? Out of respect and honor. Ladies, I think it's time that we ask their mothers if we're good enough. Equality, right? That's a, that's a fact, bruh. That is a fact, bruh. <sighs> Especially since, you know, traditions seem to be fading away. Because the more modern we get, more specifically, the more, the more modern women get, like, these traditional values are... It seems like, well, it seems like they need to be fading away. You know what I mean? Because traditionally came from how it was back then where the, the man was, you know, the breadwinner and the the wife was at home. But in that space right now, modern women out here making just as much money as men are, you know, focusing on their career and not having families and shit. So you can't really hold on to these traditions because they don't make any goddamn sense she come up with some new traditions and that would definitely be a fire us when given the state we're in right now you are modern women right you are modern women all right you need to go talk to my mama you need to ask her if you need to ask for her blessings because she may not think you're good enough for me <laughs> for real that's all we just put small weenies on Look the basketball basketball boys car right, no, because they have one. no glizzy <laughs> man can never do that shit. Never. I mean, he gonna he could do it. He could do it. Maybe we should just start doing that shit. Just we're doing whatever the fuck they do. Whatever the fuck they do, we just do it and just do it enough where we even it out. It ain't no motherfucking big deal. Maybe we can just make a big ass shift ourselves and just break the fuck double standard. Right. Whoa, 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 whoa! No one's gonna point out the double standard here. Allow me. Imagine if a bunch of boys from the football team barely filled up some balloons and tied it to the girls' cars because they don't have no chest. Or maybe they hung air freshener trees because the girls have smelly badges. Whoa! Hold the phone. The girls would have clutched their pearls. Facts. This was misogynistic, sexist, offensive. You know, it is 2020. Oh my God, these boys would have been crucified. Tell me I'm lying. These boys would have been suspended, charged with harassment. The entire situation would have been investigated as a hate crime. They'd have to pay restitution for vandalism. And last but not least, they'd probably wind up on a sex offender registry. Tell me I'm wrong. Let me get that follow if I'm wrong. All right, all right, all right. We've been on this one for a minute. All right. Yeah, we get the point. We get the point. We're going to do more of these, though. Because there definitely needs to be awareness brought to this, bro. Yeah, I mean, a lot of us know this is out there, but it's not discussed. It's not. It's not discussed as much as it needs to be, because if this if this type of shit was highlighted and discussed as much as it exists in society, this whole patriarchy talk would stop. I mean, there's there's absolutely no way the patriarchy is as problematic as all these crazy is making it seem when you got actual instances that are taking place in society every motherfucking day that victimized the men every time i mean women are never placed in the well i'm gonna say never women are rarely placed in these type of situations where their their life is at risk or is in jeopardy because of the societal standard set that reinforces this double standard that men have to deal with you know what i mean like that's just strong and, and it affects a lot more people than the almighty power tyrannical patriarchy that's cat bro that's cap. And if you disagree with me, let me know in the comments, bro. We can discuss it. Cause that's that's crazy as hell. That's crazy as hell. Anyway, peace.